Okay, so welcome back to my channel Orchid House. Uh, I'm Olivier in Fort Lauderdale in South Florida. And uh, today I wanted to show you how I care for my uh, Dendrobium tangerinum and Touch of Gold, which are both antelope dendrobiums. So look how gorgeous that is. Uh, bronze petals with a, a purple lip. So if you've never heard of uh, the term antelope dendrobium, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. You see these uh, sepals, uh, actually these are the petals that look like uh, uh, antler, antelope antlers. So that's where the name comes from. Uh, so that's a species. Then you have this girl here, which is, a, which is called dendrobium touch of gold. Uh, and this is a hybrid with gorgeous earthly tones of bronze, uh, chocolate, gold, amber. The tangerinum doesn't have a fragrance. This one has a fragrance that's not exceptional, uh, but it's compensated by the beauty. So the, the reason why it's not exceptional, the parents are two species. One of them is uh, Joannis and uh, the Joannis has a kind of offensive fragrance which uh, transfer to this one. Okay, so uh, antelope dendrobiums are actually technically uh, the section spatulata. If there are terms that you, you haven't heard or you don't understand, I always put uh, a text below the video so you can always refer to that uh, and go back to that and, and this way uh, you have uh, basically the essence of, of what I'm talking about. Uh, so these dendrobiums, they are highlight plants. Uh, the tangerinum will, they are not here typically, I, this is for just the presentation. This one gets uh, full sun in the morning and in the afternoon. As result, it gets filt have high filtered light all day long. I water them every day, there's no rest. Uh, these uh, things are thirsty, they're also hungry. Uh, they need to be fertilized more than uh, most orchids. They are cold sensitive, so we enjoy beautiful uh, warm weather here in South Florida. Occasionally we'll have a few nights below 55 Fahrenheit or 13 Celsius. And uh, as a precaution, I bring them inside. Now, this started blooming a month ago. There's over, I think, 33 spikes right now. Uh, it's going to last approximately three months. Every year it's been blooming uh, around mid-February and I have blooms until mid-May. Uh, this one is a more recent one but it already has 10 spikes and as you can tell it's already growing while it's blooming. It's already growing two new uh, bulbs here, two new canes and I mean this is a hybrid so it's, uh, it's even more eager uh, than your standard uh, species. The, uh, in the dendrobium genus, uh, it's always a good idea to try to determine which section your plant belongs to because from one section to another they have very different growing needs. Uh, and also from one section to another, in some sections there are no hybrids and in others there are a lot of hybrids. This is one of the most hybridized of all for obvious reasons. I mean, the, the petals of uh, the, the blooms are beautiful, they are very special, and by hybridizing you manage to get a bunch of different colors, and uh, the palette is really uh, amazing, so uh, it's impossible to not find something that, that will suit you. The big negative for these plants, they are tall. This is over a, a, a meter tall, uh, a little over three feet. Uh, this one is barely less at this point. So if you don't have a lot of space, uh, the way to do it is to try and find a hybrid that's going to have canaliculatum, and again it's going to be in the text. Uh, the canaliculatum uh, is a very small species and uh, when you hybridize with it, it usually uh, reduces the size of the hybrid quite a bit. So that's if you don't have enough space. Now, like all dendrobiums, they don't like repotting. They really resent it. So I don't repot this one. Uh, it's been potted three times. I keep the original pot, I put it in a bigger basket. And then this is a third pot already, a third basket. They are supposed to, to be uh, potted tightly, but this one grows so fast and has such big bulbs that I figure it needs more space. It's working. Uh, I hope not to have to add a, a, another basket for another two, three or maybe four years. We'll see.
So tangerinum grows in New Guinea. Like I said, it's a uh, it's a species. I mean, that's why we grow orchids, right? <laughs> it's really pretty. So uh, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.